Hello everyone. We'll start with questions which have been asked in construction planning and management in the morning session as well as your afternoon session. First, the morning session. Simple, simple three questions have been asked. So, the first question says, the direct and the indirect cost estimated by a contractor for bidding a project is 1,60,000 and 20,000 respectively. So, your direct cost is 1,60,000 and indirect cost is 20,000. Next, the person says, if the markup applied is 10% of the bid price, this becomes very, very important, okay? So, most of the students will be going wrong here only, okay? 10% of the bid price, okay, not the cost. The quoted price of the contractor is, see, the quoted price, quoted price, whenever bidding or tendering is happening for selecting a contractor for a project, that time, the quote or the bid for the project will be the contractor saying that I will do the project for this much price or cost. Clear? So, this is quoted price, which is nothing but your bid price only. Okay. So, we will write the data first. After that, we will try to solve it. First one. Okay. First, direct cost. Direct cost is how much? 1,60,000. 1,60,000 it is given to us. Okay. Indirect cost. Indirect cost is how much? 20,000. Clear? Now, the markup. The markup. Markup is given to us as 10% of bid price. Of bid price. Clear? And what is markup? Basically, Generally, people have a tendency or students have the tendency that markup is the profit. It is not only the profit, profit plus contingency cost. Basically, if in the project, if in the project in the later stage, some earthquake happens or unforeseen circumstances, because of unforeseen circumstances, you will be getting some damage. For that, you have to put in some money beforehand okay before the start of the project you will be putting that this much some amount of money so this will be profit plus contingency or risk allowance okay so all that is different but yeah question says like this now we know bid price whatever you are quoting that this much price i will do the project that is bid price that will be equal to direct cost plus indirect cost okay plus your markup. Clear? Now, you simply enter the values and you will get your answer. So, bid price is how much? Let's say, uh, right, as of now, I am entering these two only. Direct cost plus indirect cost. Okay? Indirect cost. Now, markup. Markup is what? 10%. 10% means 10 divided by 100 into bid price. Clear? Now, this is bid price, this is bid price. Get it to left hand side. Okay? So, your value will be how much? 0 0.9. 0 0.9 bid price will be equal to, when you get it here, it will be 90 divided by 100. So, 0 0.9. So, direct cost plus indirect cost. Clear? Now, you can simply enter the values and get your bid price. So, let's do it here. Bid price. Bid price is how much? Direct cost plus indirect cost. See, understand here, this 0 0.9 I am getting in the denominator. Okay. 0 0.9. Okay. Now, enter the values. 1,60,000 plus 20,000. Okay, this combinedly you divided by 0 0.9. So, this will give you how much? So, this combinedly gives you 1,80,000. That you divide by 0.9, this will give you 2 lakhs. So, answer will be 2 lakhs. Clear? So, observe here. So, we have an answer which is D. Clear? We will move on to the next, next question. So, next question, see this is the question and uh, it might seem that very, very difficult, but actually it is not and you read it carefully, you will be able to solve, okay. 
Contractor X is developing his bidding strategy against contractor Y. The ratio of Y's bid price, Y's bid price to X's cost for 30 previous bids in which the contractor X has competed against the contractor Y is given in the table. So this is the data of X contractor and Y contractor bidding and the ratio which is given is Y's bid price and X's cost. Okay. Now the value is this ratio is in the 30 bids, 30 previous bid, 6 times this has happened, 12 times this has happened. So like that data is given to you. Now we will read the rest of the question. Based on the bidding behavior of contractor Y, the probability of winning against contractor Y at a markup of 8%, at a markup of 8%, what will be the probability of winning? Okay, the person is asked. So obviously four options are given. We'll start with the data. This data is there. This data is there. So this is obviously one ratio and weight of it is given. What is the frequency? Okay, so basically 30 bits is there. So we'll use the weighted average and find out the mean. Simple. So for that, we'll write here. Okay, mean will be equal to how much? Let us say x1 and this is the weight of it is w1, x2 and w2. Like that you can enter the values. Now w1 plus w2, whatever is the weight that you can enter. So we will enter the values. So you understand 1.02 is the ratio which is 6 times in 30. So we will write 1.02 into 6 times. Okay. So this is 6 times this. Now we are entering 1.04 and 12. So we will be entering 1.04 into 12. Clear? We will enter this. Now next value 1.06 has occurred 3 times. 1.06 has occurred 3 times. Now 1.10 is 6 times. 1.10 6 times and in the numerator only I am continuing okay so it is 1.12 3 times 1.12 3 times this has occurred and the denominator w1 w2 w3 when you add it it will give you how much 30 bits because adding this is 30 only so w1 plus w2 like that if you add you will be getting 30 clear so I can simply write 30 here Okay, so basically weighted av average I have found out and the value if you calculate will be 1.058. Okay, this will be the mean. Clear? Now, there are long way and one is shorter way. Okay, we will go with the shorter way because in exam obviously in gate, simple trick if you know, then you can solve the question. So understand here, if this is the, let us say distribution. Okay. Let's say this is the distribution of your data given in the table. Clear? And obviously, you, let's say here you have 1.058. 1.058 is the value mean you have got. This is what mean? Basically, Y's bid price and X's cost. Now, when 8% markup is given, here how much is the markup? 5.8%, 5.8%. So when 5.8% is the mean, when you are giving 8% your extra markup, okay, this will come obviously on right side of this, okay, right side of this. Now, we can say this mean divides the graph in 50-50%, okay, 50% of the area, 50% of the area. Now, it is on right side. 1.08. Understand here carefully when 8% markup is given, the X is quoting even 8% more, okay? 8% quote is given. That time, obviously, probability of X winning will be less than Y, okay? X winning because on an average, the Y will be quoting 5.8% extra only. Now, X is quoting 8%. Obviously, there is a tendency to lose. 
so only probability where x will be winning is this area only this cho to area and this will be how much obviously this is 50% so this will be less than 50% only obviously greater than 0 clear so our option should be how much more than 0 but less than 50 clear this should be our answer clear hello everyone we'll start with this question see a small project has 12 activities from n to z they have given the activities the relationship among these activities and the duration of these are given the table so basically these are the activities durations and the dependency also is given completion of table is here and the total float of the activity v is asked okay and in obviously in weeks now this also is given in weeks understand this also is given in weeks so first we'll make the network after that we'll try to solve what will be the value clear so understand initially it is starting with n activity the act activity name is n so we'll try to make it see the start of the project okay some event then you have an activity n okay what is the duration of it duration is two days so two days you will write here clear after this n on n completion of both n you will be getting p and q so p and q so p and q okay q what is the duration what is the duration 5 and 3 so 5 and 3 clear now we'll start with the next one completion of p will give you r completion of p completion of p you will get your r okay r activity you will get how much is the duration four days four weeks four weeks clear now next one completion of q will give you s completion of q will give you s completion of q will give you s okay this s activity which is having a duration of five days five days you are getting your value clear now this is completed we'll move on to the rest of the table completion of r will give you t completion of activity r will give you t so r completion will gives you it's the, this is the event and this will give you t which is of duration how much eight day eight weeks clear so this will be the value now r and s q is dependent on r s s r and s completion so r is here s is here okay so let's say this is the starting of the value u which is having a duration of seven days seven weeks sorry okay and this is dependent also on r so you will have to get it like this okay dummy activity will put and you will get it now completion of u will give you v and w both okay two and three are the in the weeks duration so this completes and this will give you what this will give you what v and w so this is v okay v is having two days as weeks completion time and this is w okay three weeks clear now x is dependent on t and v completion of both t and v complete and give you x t and v t and v so what we'll do simply extend this okay t and v when they complete they will give you they will give you an activity okay an activity which is x x which is having a duration of five days five weeks okay so this is the activity clear w finishes and then only y can start w finishes and y can start y can start now y can start like this let us say y starts like this and the duration is how much one day one day is the duration clear now final is x and y completion z activity will start so we will write okay there z activity will start 
and this will be the finish of the project. Z activity is having a, a duration of three weeks. Clear? So this will finish the project. So this will be our basic network. Okay. Now we'll start calculating the time. Okay, earliest time and latest time. Okay, of the events. So understand here. Obviously, when nothing is given, nothing is given. You have to start by zero only. So zero. Now completion of the nth activity. N activity, the name N, it finishes in two days. So zero plus two, two days. From here, two plus five. So it will be seven days, seven weeks. From two, three, you will be getting five weeks completion of Q. Okay. From here to here, you will get 7 plus 4, you will be getting 11 weeks to complete R. Now here, see if you have to come here, there is one path and this is another path. So whichever is that, the highest one you have to take. So 11 and this dummy to 0. And here 5 plus 5 is 10. So this is giving you 11. So you will be writing here 11, the highest one. Okay. This path will give you 11 as the uh, earliest finish time. Clear? as 11. Now, from here if you have to go, you can write it, it, okay, here also both paths are there. So longest we have to choose 11 plus 7, how much it is? 18, okay, 18 plus 2 will give you 20, 11 plus 8 will be 19. So 19, uh, 20 is greater, so from this path will be chosen 18 plus 2 which is giving you 20, clear? Now, it reaching here also, two paths are there. So whichever is highest, you will take. 18 plus 3, you will get 21. 21 plus 1, 22. This is given 25. So 25 will be the highest. You will choose that. 25 plus 3, only one path. So 28. Again, you will write that only if a project completion time is not given. Reproduce that 28, then come back. The latest time. Okay. Now, when you subtract, you will be getting 25. Okay. From here, you will be getting here, this is 1, so you will be, okay, I have not written here, this is 21, when earliest time, 18 plus 3, 21, so this is giving you 25, and this is 25 minus 1, 24, okay, reaching here, the value will be, how much, 21, 24 minus 3, 21, here, you are getting 20, here, you are getting 20 only, 20 minus 2 will give you 18, or and you have to take a least one. So 24 minus 3 is giving you 21, 20 minus 2 is giving you 18. Now in the exam, in the exam, they have given us to find the float for V only. Now when you have got the earliest and the latest finish times and the start times also, then you can simply take that activity and plot it here. Okay. So let's write it here. See, this is the activity. Let this I will be the tail event and this is the head event of completion of V which is having a duration of 2. So simply I have taken this activity I have represented here. Okay. So earliest start time will be how much I can write it as 18 which is I have taken from see here 18 only. Okay. Earliest when the forward pass is going on. Okay. After that anyways I have written 20. Okay. Earliest finish time latest finish time is 20 again and earliest finish time is also 18 and the project duration obviously this activity duration is two weeks what is the total float for this so understand total float how much latest finish time of your uh, head activity okay so j you will write earliest earliest start time of your tail activity earliest of your tail activity minus the activity duration. So, you will write what? 20. See, this is 20. This is 18. And minus 2, you will get what? 0. Or simpler ways, you need not write anything. Okay. You go in this direction. Okay. You go in this direction. Start from here. Whatever comes in the path in diagonal way, you subtract it. 20. Activity subtract 2, okay, subtract 18, 20 minus 2 minus 18, which is 0, okay, that also will give you 0 and that only total float is asked, you can ask 
zero as your answer and you will get your full marks hello everyone we'll start with the afternoon session read this question carefully okay an equipment has been purchased at an initial cost of 160000 and has an estimated salvage value of 10000 okay so initial investment and your salvage value the equipment has a estimated life of 5 years the difference between the book value obtained at the end of fourth year using straight line method and sum of years and digit method two methods different methods you are using for finding out the book value at the end of fourth year and the examiner is asking the difference difference between the book value by calculating by different different methods okay so we'll plot this value or data which is given to us so understand here initially zero tier your initial investment is how much 160000 okay 160000 is your initial investment at the end of 5 years which is the useful life you will be left with 10000 if you salvage it you will be getting 10000 rupees in your pocket clear so the book value at the end of at the end of fourth year is be, has to be calculated okay has to be calculated by different different methods so we have straight line method and we have been asked sum of years digit method okay years digit method clear in straight line method what we do assume is that each year each year same level of depreciation is happening in sum of years digit method we assume that more depreciation is happening in the initial days and later it will be very 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 less depreciation so understand straight line method so in this obviously zero tier and same depreciation is happening all the years okay now in sum of years digit method what will happen is we assume that depreciation is happening like this initially very high depreciation is happening why this method is only used when your uh, equipment fears obsolescence that it will go out of fashion okay so that time we will try to save more amount of money which is initial depreciation clear so sum of years digit method and straight line method we'll try to find the book value at the end of fourth year understand here straight line method first we'll solve okay simple thing is we will use book value at the end of mth year formula okay obviously we'll start with initial investment whatever initial investment is there and from 0 to 4 whatever depreciation has happened if we are able to subtract we will get our book value so this ci minus cs okay divided by n each year each year same value of depreciation will be this much now we have to find fourth year so we will write four here or mth year mth year general formula i am writing as of now if we want to convert this b v 4 book value at the end of fourth year so you can simply write 160000 minus how much 160000 minus 10000 and divided by how much n n is how much 5 years useful life is 0 to 5 5 years okay so you multiply by 4 because you need require book value at the end of fourth year so solve this value so understand 160000 minus 10000 will give you 150000 divided by 5 30000 30000 multiplied by 4 120000 so simply minus 120000 okay so you will be getting what book value as 40000 okay 40000 by using only and only straight line method clear we'll move on to sum of years digit method sum of years digit method okay see if you have attended the class okay that time you will be familiar with this formula okay that book value book value at the end of mth year okay if you are doing calculating by sum of years digit method you need not go through the tedious method of finding depreciation depreciation in each year then subtracting 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 no 
direct formula okay this is initial obviously every time we'll start with the initial investment we have to subtract the depreciated life which is depreciated value okay that we will subtract sum of years and we'll simply multiply m n minus m m minus 1 divided by 2 okay so this will be the formula for your sum of years digit method when you want to find book value at the end of m years we'll put in the values so let us say b v 4 you want at the end of fourth year simply right here 60000 okay now ci minus cs 160000 minus 10000 so directly i'm writing 150000 what is the sum of years? 5, 5 plus 1 divided by 2. Clear? And you multiply by this. How much it is? 4. M is 4 here. B, V, M at the end of 4th year. So, 4 multiplied by 5, which is the useful life, subtracted by 4. 4 minus 1 divided by 2. Simple. And solve this and you will get your answer book value at the end of fourth year using sum of years digit method so simple thing is 20 okay 4 minus 1 3 4 into 3 you will get 12 divided by 2 6 okay this will be 6 20 minus 6 will uh, 20 minus 6 you will get 14 okay so we'll write that 1 lakh 60000 subtracted by See, 1,50,000, this is 5 into 6, 5 into 6 divided by 2, 15. So, again, you will be getting how much value? 15, okay, 1,50,000 divided by what value? 15. So, you will get 10,000, okay, 10,000. Ten thousand. and you simply multiply by what? 14. So, 20 minus this is 6. So, you will get 14. So, when you do that, you will be getting a value 60,000, 1,60,000 minus 1,40,000. So, you will be getting 20,000. And in the exam, in the question, we have been asked the difference between these two. Okay. Book value calculated by straight line method and your sum of years digit method. So, simply, okay, book value subtract, okay delta book value you can write as 40,000 minus your 20,000. So, you will be getting your answer which is 20,000. Okay. So, you can see the you can enter your value here 20,000. Okay. So, this will be the question in which session afternoon session. Next question observe. See here. In case of bids, okay, in case of bids, so two envelope system. In two envelope system, we will be submitting, the contractor will be submitting two envelopes to the client, okay. Different, different kind of envelopes. One will be having technical bid, another will be having the financial, okay, the financial bid. So, the correct option. So, understand, technical bid is opened first, okay, we will think about it. Either of the two bid, bids can be opened first. Financial bid is open first and both are open simultaneously. Four options have been given to us. So, understand in two bid, you have your uh, first one is technical bid. Technical bid. And you have financial. Bid, okay. So, understand here. Whenever the client wants to check that, okay, this two bids have been submitted, not everybody's financial bid will be opened, okay. First, everybody has to clear this technical bid, okay. Technically, everything is sound. Then only, whoever is fit, that time, they theirs, only theirs, the financial bid will be opened. So, this will be opened first to check who is eligible for doing that contract, okay executing that project after that financial bid will be open and finally depending on the criterias we will be deciding 
your contractor who will be executing your project. Clear? Hello everyone, we will see the third problem. The activity detail for a small project are given in the table. Okay, Basically activity and the duration and the dependency of these activities are given to you. Completion of table is here. The total time in days they are asking you for project completion is. What is the project completion time? So first we have to draw the network based on the dependencies which they have given. Clear? So we'll start with this. See, obviously the first activity is A. So we'll write here. This is the initial event or uh, this is the initial event and this is the activity. So let us say A is the activity of how much time duration? 6 days. Okay, 6 days is the duration. Clear? Now dependencies we will see. A and A. From A, B and C both are dependent. Both are dependent. So we will write simply what your B is dependent okay and your c is also dependent on your a itself a activity completion of a activity what is the duration of this 10 and 14 so we'll write 10 and your 14 okay clear now see the dependencies d is dependent on b okay d activity is dependent on completion of b so we'll write that this b a uh, completes event happens then your let us say a d which is having a duration of 8 days will complete okay will complete after this dependent on c are two activities e and f okay of 12 and 8 duration e and f so let us say this is your e okay 12 is the duration this is one event and then you will write f which is 8 clear f which is 8 clear now next dependency g dependent on d and e completion of d and e clear so we'll write d and e when it they complete you will be writing that d and e complete and you will get your what g activity okay so complete this complete this you will get your this is the event completion of these two and you will get which activity g activity okay g which is having a duration of 16 days 16 days clear now obviously the completion of table h h is dependent on f and g f and g both completion after that h will start okay h will start so understand here f and g where is f here okay f and g should take it here f and g complete and you will have an event and you will get an activity which is h okay h activity you will get h activity which is having a duration of 8 days clear 8 days and after that k activity which is dependent on b so k activity is dependent on b this b so you can write here this one okay let us say this is k and how much is the duration 2 days 2 days this will get finished now the last one l is dependent on g and k now l is dependent on g your g and k so obviously we have to provide a dummy this will be the finishing of the g and k and you will be getting an activity which is l okay l which is having a duration of 5 days 5 days and this will finish your project okay this will finish your project so simple network you can find okay after this we have to find the longest path longest path because we have to find what your project duration complete project duration simple understand here we will mark it with white so understand zero if nothing is given obviously the project starts at zero today now here it will be six okay six day this will get completed after this come here let us say 
here it will be 20 days it will take 6 plus 14 you will get uh, 6 plus 10 you will get 16 okay if you have to reach here the longest path will be this 20 plus 12 this will give you 32 okay 32 and you can go ahead with this also so this is also an arrow dummy activity so yeah so 16 18 better than this this will be the longest 32 plus 16 this will give you how much 48 okay now 48 obviously this is also a lesser one duration will not be long so 48 plus 8 this will give you how much 48 plus 8 this will give you 56 so longest duration is time which you are getting in days is 56 days so this will become your project duration in days which is 56 okay so this will be the answer